Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And hope you enjoy. I'm going to go off on a tangent real quick. I love tangents. Tangents. They're tangential. So, <laughs> so one of my favorite amendments is Amendment 10. <clears throat> and this sums up the original Bill of Rights. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. So that means that anything that wasn't granted was up for us to decide. So instead of Congress getting together and deciding to pass laws about this, or regulations about that and taxes about thus um you know it's really supposed to be up to the states to decide what the states are going to do the federal government was supposed to be very small very limited the, the um, main choices and and legislation that was to be passed was supposed to be um to the states so that the states can represent themselves and live by the laws that the states agree with and that means that people have more of an influence in the government that more impacts their lives. Yes, has, which should be at the state level. Exactly, exactly. And and so it's like, okay, the, if you if you dislike something, you can you can try and do do your best to to get your local area to pass laws that will change those those things. But it doesn't affect people in Timbuktu. It doesn't affect you know. Mm -hmm. It's it's one of those things that that's that was one of the beauties of the way that our government has been set up, but the the way that we currently run it is everything's run by committee of non-elected officials. I mean, you look at the different different um, all of the different committees that we have. Never ending. I'm gonna read it one more time. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively, or to the people. That is very important. Yeah. Look how far away we strayed from that. That's one of the things that's so interesting to me about the, I think I mentioned it before, but the, our, our reliance on judicial precedent, on, on like, if you can find basically in when things go to court, it seems like if you can find a a, a precedent where someone has made that decision before in the past, then it's like a, a given that okay, that's the right decision. But it's like no, we should be basing our things off of the Constitution, mm -hmm. not off of some precedent by some judge or you yeah, know, not based off of somebody else's interpretation of what it means. Exactly. Because like we said, everybody can interpret it differently, but the way it should be interpreted is. The, by the intent with which it was written, which was small government, leave the people alone. You know, usually when they come down and say, well, that, that's according to how I determine this. No, it's very clear, unless you're a freaking potato or a pumpkin, that when the founders, um, you know, fought against great britain it didn't have anything to do with you know just because it didn't have anything the second amendment didn't have anything to do with hunting they had just overthrown the most powerful empire that the world had ever seen so that they could be left alone and free to make their own choices that's not hard to comprehend well what could the founders have possibly meant i don't know you idiot <laughs> what did they just do what did they just accomplish i mean american history is not that difficult to study and comprehend it's uh, one of the shorter it is clearly documented it's one of the shorter histories in the world mm -hmm. for for a country and the founders were very clear in what they said and how they said it i mean yeah our the way that we say things and the way that we speak now are a little bit different but i mean it's really largely irrelevant because the words still had the same definition they just used more fanciful words when you say they were a bit different, we're talking like they wrote choose as C H U S E. Okay, that's different. I love it. 
who cares? <laughs> like, it's not that different. It's not. It's it's not rocket science. Science. And here's the thing that I absolutely love about the the Constitution. It's so s- plain in as far as the way it's spoken. Yeah, they. Yeah, they. It, some of the words are arch- archaic, and the styling of the words are archaic, but not that. The, the, it's not it's not cryptic it's not um it's not like you need to understand you need to have a degree to understand things or to a decipher ring yeah exactly <laughs> and and the the thing that i was talking to um uh m- my friend at work w- he, he brought up the idea and we were just like musing over like, different ideas but he brought up the idea of having a autonomous government that that you simply like if you simply have okay here's the rule you put in the input and you have the output and the, when you when you're programmers you kind of get into like this make it as simple and no like hard to screw up as possible but it, even if you were to make the government into something that was autonomous and a program that that is run you're going to put power into right now the power lies a lot into the lawyers and the judges because they interpret how the laws are are enforced and because mm-hmm. they they interpret it, they can they've made so much muddying of this water that it leaves them to interpret it in ways that are that are subjective, and and that's part of the the process of what they're doing. I mean, there there are good lawyers, but evil is attracted to power, and there's power in muddying up that water. If it were if the if the government were to move to some autonomous uh, program. There, then there would be power, even if it was open sourced. There's power in in developing, and it, the evil would be attracted to that. And there would be things that would muddy it up to where it's harder to follow. And then people would need, just like they do now with lawyers, they need to have schooling and stuff to be considered proficient to understand it. S- the same thing would happen. It would just instead of being in in law, it would be in development or in software development or in whatever wherever we m- choose that median. Evil is going to find it because evil is attracted to power. Yes, but they're the the founders warned warned us um, all about placing a lot of trust in the judicial. Um, here's one from Benjamin Franklin: "I agree to this Constitution, and I believe further that it is likely to be well administered for a course of years." And can only end in despotism, and as other forms have done before it, when the people shall become so corrupted as to need despotic government, being incapable of any other. Despotism. Do you mind looking up the definition of that word? I'm really busy right now. <laughs> <clears throat> the exercise of absolute power, especially in a cruel and oppressive way. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising, episode 9. Um, well, buddy, if you like, subscribe and share, and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.